States of America. Hello, everybody. My name is Joe Procassini, and I'm from Johnston, Rhode Island. And this evening, I would like to talk about a threat that is currently facing our country. And uh, that threat right now is a globalist agenda that has been taking place for many decades. And it's a plan by many different elites uh, all throughout the world who are part of one big network. And essentially what they're trying to do is establish a one world government which would be a completely dystopian society and they're doing it very strategically and the first step in this process was back uh, in 1992 uh, when they established the European Union and this involved taking all the European countries and merging them into a single union essentially stripping them of their sovereignty and they also uh, developed a single currency for all the countries as well. And while that may have sounded uh, good, uh, it really wasn't. The Europeans were not happy about it, and they're still not happy about it. And then in 2002, they did the same thing with the African countries. They merged them all to a union called the African Union. Okay? And last month, they did the same thing with all the South American countries. And as we speak, they are doing it with all the Asian countries. Okay. And believe it or not, they are trying to do it with the North American countries right now. They are trying to merge Canada, Mexico, and the United States into a new entity called the North American Union. Uh, back in March of 2005, George W. Bush met with Canadian Prime Minister Paul Martin and Mexican President Vincent Fox and essentially signed an agreement, which by the way was completely unconstitutional, selling our sovereignty and they've been trying to push this for three years now uh, they haven't been talking about it on the news because the news is all owned by big media corporations and they've all been paid off by these dirty politicians and international bankers uh, who would get, who would benefit from this and uh, what they're going to do is at least what they're going to try, try to do is they're going to cause some type of an incident probably an economic collapse but we don't know for sure and they're going to propose a solution to that, which will be merging these countries into a new entity called the North American Union, which would have this flag right here. That's what it would look like. Can you see that? Okay. That's what the flag would look like right there. And it would also result in a completely new currency called the Amero, getting rid of the dollar, the Mexican peso, and the Canadian dollar as well. And that also would mean that the Constitution of the United States would become obsolete. So you can say goodbye to the Bill of Rights. No, no more free speech, no more right to bear arms or anything else in the Bill of Rights. All right? And once all five of these unions are established, they're gonna wait for when the time is right and they're gonna take all five of them and they're gonna merge them together into a one world government with one bank and one army. And the only people who will benefit from that are a small elite few at the top. Everybody else will either be dead or poor, all right? So it's very important as Americans that you're aware of this and that you make everybody else aware of it and make sure that you resist this if it's ever suggested by the government. They cannot pull this off without the consent of the people. They're gonna try to get people to consent to it by saying, oh, it'll be good, it'll be good, it'll be good for the economy, no. We can have free trade with other countries, we can be friends with other countries, but we need to maintain our national sovereignty. That is very important, and it is currently under threat, okay? So, say no to the North American Union, and say no to the NAFTA highway. That's a big part of it, all right? It's a highway that's getting built as we speak that connects Mexico to Canada and will be part of this North American Union, all right? So, just wanna warn everybody, and just uh, just resist it as much as you can, okay? All right, thank you. Yeah! This concludes this program broadcast. We the People, a freedom of speech television show. Go to www.wethepeopleofri.org.